Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy. We back. And uh, bet you wonder what's in this damn cooler. Hey, what's how cool this is, man? It's like a hundred and... Mm, whatever. Don't make me lie to you. Yeah. There's a Smitty over there talking. But let me show you what we got in this thing, man. Nah, we ain't got nothing in there. Nah, let me stop. Ta-da! Got one of them old piggies. Hog, whatever you want to call him. He about to get cooked today. Yup. Well, not today. We finna brine him up and hook it up. So y'all stay tuned, man, while we go through this process, man. We'll be back, man. This is gonna be a long video. Might do part one and part two, y'all. Hold on. But anyway, we're gonna shut this down, man. So I can probably not rinse this thing off. Keep it going. He's using a serrated knife. We're gonna come back with my little torch. Burn off the little fine hairs that uh can't get to. And try to make this thing white as possible. So anyway, we'll be back, y'all. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, what we gonna call this pig, man? I don't know. Wilbur. <laughs> We're finna get scald right here. Anyway, we'll be back, y'all. Yo, we back, y'all. Look how clean that pig is now. Total difference, ain't it? Yeah, we had to go in there and uh, do some touch up. But anyway, we finna go ahead and uh, brine this joker, man. It's like I said, it's Tuesday. We got brown sugar. This is uh, a little bit less than four pounds. Uh, we put salt in there too. Uh, regular uh, iodine salt in there. Uh, we putting beer in there. We got some garlic. What else we putting in here? And we're gonna put some water to top it off. Maybe a little bit more ice on the pan. This ice gonna, this salt gonna hold that ice though for us. Yeah. Right. You know what? I'm gonna be bad. I'm going into the cabinet. But you know what? We're gonna start pouring these bills in here. Oh, you know what? It ain't gonna do nothing on the outside. Ugh. Hey, remember I was asking y'all that question about Bill? Hey, my bad, y'all. It's about to disappear. A 24 <laughs> pack. We'll be back, man. Um, cause it's gonna take a minute to uh to pour in now. We got a piece of wood holding his mouth open. Uh, cause if you what you don't know is like when you, with a piece of meat, once you put ice on it. Ice cold water, the meat freeze up. So what we want to do is go ahead and put that stick in his mouth so that uh, when we put whatever in there, potato, uh, apple, orange, whatever we put in there while we cook it, uh, it still flows through. So what you see him doing now is rubbing, uh, rubbing the internal, because the outside skin ain't gonna really matter. Uh, so they're gonna turn to uh, uh, kind of like crackling when we're cooking it. But uh, we're gonna put Big Bertha to use, y'all, one more time. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. We back. See that piggy sitting up in there? Hey, what we call her? It's a she, so we're going to call her uh, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Something like that. Wilhelmina. And we, uh, last step, man, just take some oranges. Little oranges. And uh, squeeze them. And drop them off in there. Easy day. What we do is uh, I come back. Uh, this Like I said, this Tuesday. I'll come back Wednesday and Thursday and just show y'all maybe like a quick five seconds of, of what the uh, the pig look like or wild boar, whatever you want to call him. She domesticated. She ain't in them streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a city pig, man. This is a city pig. They're raised on the farm, man. But, uh, yeah. We'll be back, y'all. This is the last orange. We're going to sit them in now. And we'll be back, like I said, in about 24 hours. Show y'all a, a quick snapshot. We'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Woo! It is Wednesday morning. Uh, people getting up. I don't know what they're doing over there. Uh, whatever. Look at that. Show y'all a quick look at uh, the old piggy. See, you got the oranges sitting in there. We went and put some rosemary and thyme in there. Can't even see my little piggy now. This is uh like I said Wednesday morning. Uh I'll give you a look Thursday real quick for a snapshot. Let me close this because I want my ice to melt. Saving it. And then we'll go from there, y'all. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, y'all? We back. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uh over this cool. It's early Thursday morning. See what this little pig in the line. 
hiding up on all that ice. See them oranges soaking in all that juice and they starting to start to uh, sink down a little bit. That's when you know you really got the, uh, the brine going when your oranges start to soak up and they actually sitting down. So if you ever wonder how, like, how long you should uh, brine anything using orange, do it until the orange, check, like check that one out. It's below the water already. See a few of them, once they get there, then you know you, you winning. It, like this one right here sitting up top, if you just had one in there, you know you need to let it sit a little bit. Anyway, let me close that. Throw another bag on there, bag of ice, and then uh, we'll be back Friday morning, y'all, when it's time to do the business. Good morning, y'all, and welcome to the Miss Piggy Show. Yes, sir, today is Friday. It is about 10.30. It's gonna be a pretty decent cook today, waking on, waiting on my man Smitty to come. And we cooking a pig for y'all, man. Uh, first one, I'm excited, man. Right now, well, let me show you what I got going on. Right now, I got this. Yeah, y'all know what a weed burner is, right? Hold on, let me go around so you can see it. I'm about to light this joke up and burn the inside of my grill out. And then uh, I'm going to take my bottom grate out and pull it back up. I'm not cooking with my bottom grate today, y'all. Let me go back over here and show you what I'm going to do. What we're going to try is we're going to try to put Wilhelmina on the second rack. Just because that's the, where my best heat is. If I put it down here, I'm going to constantly have to watch it because it's a little bit hotter down here by the uh, reverse flow pan uh, panel or the plate. Uh, we're going to see if it fit, though. If it don't, I just put it on the bottom and take the top two racks out. So we're gonna see what happens. Try to put him on the second rack, take the first rack out, uh, so that I got that clearance. And we're gonna see what happens, man. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna light up my, my, uh, my uh, weed burner. Actually, I might just keep it rolling, and let y'all see me playing around here just doing this. Also, on the bottom, it's time to clean it out a little bit, so I'm gonna take a, a paint scraper, and I'll show you that in a second, in the next segment. We're gonna scrape it out once I get it good and hot. We're gonna scrape it. Gotta roll the sleeves up, can't get my sweatshirt dirty. Can only have barbecue smoke. But now we're gonna scrape the bottom, get all the crud out of it, or uh, uh, whatever they want to call it. You know, all the black tar that be sitting there. I'm gonna hit it with this, come back with some uh, some grease. I ran out of peanut oil, so I'm just gonna use regular oil. Uh, we're gonna light it, let it go for about an hour, get some of the stuff back in there. I'm not pressure washing it. So no, I'm not cleaning it all out. Just putting it with heat so I can burn off all the uh, old remnants and stuff like that. And uh, just a quick way to clean your grill, man. Heat. Once I light it up, I'm come back with water. What does heat and water do? Create steam. We're finna steam clean this joke today. I'm not gonna hit it with the pressure washer and knock everything off. I'm just gonna get it up to about 300 degrees. Minimum, 300 degrees. Hit it with the heat before. Uh, get the... Uh, Get the insulated firebox up the tip. Put the water in there, spritz it. Uh, my water hose over, it's already ready. I'm gonna show y'all everything today, man. We're gonna, we're gonna just do it all. It's gonna be probably a two or three, three part series. Do it for y'all, man. But Wilhelmina, she about to get smoked out, y'all. But anyway, we'll be back, y'all. Let me get set up. All right, y'all. Got my blowtorch. Weed burner is what we call it. I want y'all to hear how much torque this thing got on. Listen, that's crazy. Got my lighter. Let's do this, y'all. I ain't even, I ain't even hitting the button on it. You don't think that's hot? because it's still a little hot now. Got a, I don't know, trial, whatever you want to call it, paint scraper, that's what I call it. And we're about to get busy. Let me show you how just easy this stuff come off. Look at that. Don't need it, uh, my, my uh, 
my pig catching on fire. So we're just gonna knock a little crud out. And go from there. Like I said, this it's been about it's been about five or six cooks since I actually did this. You know I'm not doing a, a real deep cleaning, but uh I ain't gonna go for all that. I'm just gonna burn the grates. I'll wait and do me a deep crank cleaning probably after this pig. Um, cause it's gonna be, it's gonna have a lot of, it'll, I ain't gonna say it look like this again, but it's gonna be a lot of juice in it cause it's a long cook. Um, or well, it's a tedious cook cause you got to make sure all the different meats, body parts, the ham, the shoulders, the ribs, everything, including the head. If you like feet, can't nothing about that, but if you like feet, tail, tongue, all that guy type of stuff. Got to make sure it's cooking perfectly, man. If not, you got the tweaky grill, your heat, all that. So, just bear with me. I'm going to clean out all this crud. Like I said, I'm going to clean my ashes out. I'm going to hit a, a Big Bertha with uh, some heat. Probably get it up. I got some white oak. Uh, Smitty bring me some white oak in a minute. So, we're going to get this. And that's a good tip right there. White oak. White oak will get your tips up. If you hovering around 200, you can't get it higher than that. Don't adjust it. Uh, another way is to tilt your grill. Uh, what I mean is tilt your grill upwards. So right now, uh, since since it's on a uh, like an unlevel field, I got to raise my leg up a little higher just to, to get a balance on that. So I put a balance on there to see where I can get it even at, right here, right where this little niche is. So for you guys though, if you want your heat, if it's not flowing evenly, this is what you do. Raise your lower your, your leg up higher, just a little bit higher, or uh, where your little balance beam is off a little bit, and your heat will rise a little quicker. You got issues over here. You got issues with heat over your left side. Remember, this is a reverse flow, so my heat is over here. It's going under the panel, and it's coming back, and it's coming out of one of my one of my uh, outlets, depending on how I'm cooking. So what you want to do is, you got cold spots over here, lower it down. Let the heat go down, settle, because heat rises, right? So if you tilt it up, if it's hot over here, and you tilt it up, it's going to kind of bypass that a little bit, and come out of here because it's looking for the quickest way to get out. You tilt it down, he's got to go down first and then come up. So, but you got to adjust it. Play with your grill. You can even play with these, man. I don't never use this one. I'm always cooking through through my uh, warmer box. I adjust my damper right here. I wish they'd have put me one of these uh, little dampers right here. I don't know if you can see this. This type on there for this. Then I would play with that. But. I don't use it really. I'm always cooking through my warm box, even if I'm not cooking anything. And I can crack this and adjust. I can even adjust down from 300 to probably two, 250s just by choking that and doing nothing else. I'm saying that's just how easy this grill is to maintain uh, when you're talking about heat. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this crud out. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Hey, what's up, y'all? Let me grab my water hose. Uh, we done cleaning. For the most part, like I said, it's a, a simple clean. Getting all the debris. I'm not rinsing off, you know, too much of my peanut oil or the uh, what you call seasoning of the grill. I'm just spraying it down right now. But I want the great grit, real, real, you know, real decent. I don't want uh, uh, the flavor profile from uh, beef ribs and all that other stuff. Even though ribs um, is pork, I don't want that seasoning. I want I want uh, Wilhelmina. It tastes like Wilhelmina, not uh, uh, everybody else cook that I cook for and, and stuff like that. Cook for y'all. So, like I said, I'm rinsing it down. I'm gonna put my little bucket up under there to catch all the water. And then, uh, I don't need all that in my driveway. Uh, so, we're gonna go from there, y'all. So, right now, I'm just doing a, this ain't steam cleaning. I'm just cleaning it out, uh, uh, running water now, like I said. Um, I'm gonna rinse out my ash box. And, oh yeah, that, let, me, let me stop for a minute. Keynote, you're cleaning out your ash, ash box, whatever grill you got, once you clean it out, if you spray water in there, please be ready to light that grill that same day so that you can uh, dry that water because water and ash don't mix. I'll tell you that right now. I don't care if you think you're cleaning out thoroughly. You put water in there and you let it sit, it's gonna turn to rust just like that, man. I don't know. I guess this ash got some uh, some acid in it or something, but ash will eat your your grill out. So when you get done cooking, most times you should clean the ashes out once it's done. You 
let it stay overnight, come back, clean it out. Because that ash just sitting there, going to eat a hole in your grill. So if you're trying to prolong your grill, I don't care how thick it is, one half an inch, inch, quarter, uh, 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 I think one eighth, what you get when you get the, uh, the little small grills from uh, Home Depot and Lowe's. Clean the ash out, man. That'll prolong your grill just there alone. You don't have to worry about your, your smoke box burning out. But if you don't know how to maintain your fire, you still gonna burn a hole through it. So those are two things. Uh, uh, practice maintaining your fire temps and cleaning the ashes out after you're done. Whether it's that day, next day, or whatever. And that'll help prolong your grill. Uh, but anyway, like I said, we finna, uh, I'm gonna put some charcoal in there. And then, uh, actually, I should just go with straight wood, but I don't have enough wood right now. I'm waiting no smithy to come to white on. Put charcoal in now. That'll last about four hours. But I just want to build my heat up. I got a couple pieces. Of, I got a couple pieces of white up. We're gonna get this tip up to 300. We'll be back, y'all, so y'all can see how to steam clean this thing. And no, I don't steam clean it by doing no sp no spray like this. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how to. What I call semi cleaning is probably thoroughly cleaning for you guys, but. Now, when I thoroughly clean it, I'm scrubbing everything with greeny weenies, scrub things, the whole nine. But like I said, for this one, uh, I ain't got the time. I'll tell you about that all uh, uh, in my video after uh, Wilhelmina, uh, about what's going on with me and what. What's that stuff for y'all? Nothing don't stop the show, trust me. But anyway, like I said, we'll be back. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, man. We back. Uh, I just lit my grill. It's at about, actually, let me close the door. About 250 right now. Perfect temps for me to uh spray my uh I had a little bit of peanut oil, mix it with regular oil. All I'm doing is coating the inside uh, to keep it uh from rusting out and it performs a seal. And key thing to note here is I'm gonna do this before uh, you see uh water's dripping as it's drying out. But I want to go ahead and put the oil on there so I can go ahead and seal it in. You see, I'm spraying the doors, not really caring too much. Now, this is a professional spray bottle. I noticed, like, using uh, other spray bottles, it's uh, it's hard for the grease to come out, especially that peanut oil. So you have to do some research, find you one. I don't remember where I got this one from. I think I got it from Home Depot. Um, but you see how easy that spray is? And this is oil, y'all. Partially, it's probably 50 50 peanut oil and uh, regular grease. All I'm gonna do is spray pretty much the whole bottle over my entire inside. Once it comes up to temp, that's when we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna hit it with the uh, the steam. And you probably ask me why I'm gonna steam it after I put the peanut oil on now. Well, just in my experience, when you are uh, reseasoning your grill, so to speak, come out kind of semi doing it because I didn't clean it thoroughly. And uh, I got water now. What I want to do is, because it's naked, I want to go ahead and put the coat of oil on that because I want it to start uh, sealing in. You know, when heat and grease mix, uh, you get a high flash point. So the, the beauty of this is, once it gets to about 300, we let it sit for about an hour and let it just soak in and bake into it. So I, now I got a seal and I won't have too many air leaks coming out of here. Um, then I'm going to come back and steam it. And that'll get all the, all, all the, I ain't gonna say dirt and stuff like that. That'll get all my excess uh, uh, unwanted flavors out of there to rush out, but I still have a seal too, if that makes sense to you. And that's just from my experience. I actually did it the opposite way once and wasn't too happy with that. So it's just my preference. It's not something I'm telling you to do. Um, but next time you clean your grill, try it. Uh, especially if you got a big one. Steam clean it and go from there and see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this door. Let this soak in. And then uh, we'll be back in an hour. We're trying to stay in for See y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, man. We back. Got my hand there. Water hose. Not you, yeah. I'm recording. Thank you. It, it's for the pig. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> got my hand there in the water hose, man. Show you a little spritz. A little spritz. We're going to go ahead and uh, stay in clean this junk a little bit. Oh, y'all see Smith over here. He's making his, his grand entrance. Hey, y'all. Not show them what's in your hand. <laughs> I'll show them what's in my hand later. That's all you need. Just a little bit of that. Close it up. Do it two or three times. And, 
Should be ready to go. Steam cleaning, y'all. We'll be back when it's time to uh put Wilhelmina on the on the grill. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back, y'all. We are having a good time. Where y'all gonna balance the hog? Hey, what's up, y'all, man? It is Friday. Late as hell. Can't never do nothing on time. Look at Wilhelmina up in here. Soak it up in them oranges. Remember when I told you about them oranges? When they start to sit down in that water, you know whatever you got in there got that citrusy flavor. But, we about to take this joke out in a minute. Well, we've been saying that for the last two hours, man. Yeah. Well, we about to take this joke out, man. Hey, be quiet, man. Hey, let me tell you our secrets. Uh, yeah. We about to take this thing out, put it on our, go oh, check out our little table, man. Y'all like our little table, man? <laughs> hey, we bougie today, y'all. Hey, we got a cloth on here. But anyway, we about to put Willow Beat on here, man. Season them up. Got a uh, big birthday going right here. Steam cleaned them. See if y'all can uh, see the temps. Oh, the 300. For those of y'all that don't know how to uh, manage the grill, yeah, I'm something like a beef. Let me even show you the warming box. If you want to know about temp, I got that joke at 250. All I got to do is throttle back on this, man. I'm telling you, y'all skills. That's all it takes. Nothing different for those who got a uh, shirt the fab. Look at it. Pipe all the way over. I'm managing my fire right here. If I crack this thing open, I can get it about 350 right now. Simple. Simple. Hit me with your, uh, your questions, man. You know I'm going to answer them. I got y'all. But anyway, we'll be back. Try to put this pig on and do the thing, man. I'll see y'all in a minute.